have some not so good news. And it's an antidepressant, but it's also used to treat neurolog neurologic pain. So every time I get steroids, I suffer severely from breakouts after. Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to open today's vlog by telling you what we are up to this morning. My dad leaves to go back to Sweden today, but before going to the airport he will be taking me to the hospital and we have the kids with us. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment, so I had a follow-up appointment with my optic neuritis and my eyes. So I had an eye exam yesterday. People are playing in the pool and I'm sorry for the background noise, but I didn't want to record inside because it was so bad lighting. Um, so bear with me. Um, but yesterday I had my eye appointment and this morning I also had a follow-up appointment. So I've done all of my eye exams again and I have been getting some results. So I have some not so good news and then some okay news. Good morning friends. The light is coming on the, from the side. Mm. Good morning friends. We have come to hola, hola. We have come to the hospital. It's early morning. My dad is driving me. He's going home today. Um, and we have come to the hospital because yesterday I had my follow-up appointment with my optic neuritis. So I had my eye exam yesterday. And today we are here to get the results. Hola, hola. And then we have an appointment this afternoon to get new passports for the kids. So I have taken today off to be able to do all of my appointments. So I don't have to go to work, but we have the kids with us. Um, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to hear about the results. It wasn't that easy. I thought it would be more easy to do the exam yesterday, um, but I feel like my eyes are struggling still a tiny bit. So we'll see what they have to Hello. say. Hello. Thanks for coming with me to the hospital. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Okay. The not so good news is that I have permanent vision loss now. Um, so they diagnosed me with that yesterday and they gave me the results today. So there is a part of my vision field that is like gone. Um, so it's almost like a cloud on this part of my vision field and the doctor do not think that I would be getting that back. Um, my normal vision, like if I were to need glasses and that kind of thing is, is perfect. Like I, I can read really, really small letters and that kind of thing and that's really good. But my vision field is reduced and then they noticed that my pupils have some difficulty to um, when it reacts to light. So it's like when you get when it's a lot of light your pupils will get smaller and then I think it's called pupils in Swedish is pupiller. <laughs> I'm just assuming that that's the word so I hope you understand what I'm saying and um, correct me if I'm wrong. But so what happens in my case is that they are a little bit slower to react so instead of doing that they're like taking a little bit longer to to react to the light and um, it wasn't a big deal but he did mention it to me and then he said that the spots that I'm seeing and the worms that I'm seeing in my vision field hopefully with time can improve he said give it a couple of months more and um, but um, know that the, re the reduction of your vision field is most likely permanent and we believe it's because of your MS but it's too early to tell if this was in fact brought on by MS, like an MS attack, or if it was due to the fact that I also had a migraine at the same time. They said it's too soon for us to see the scarring on your optic nerve, so you will have to come back in December for a follow-up appointment, and that's when we know for sure if it was because of your MS, or if it was brought on by the migraine. So hopefully there won't be any scarring and um, so they think that the lo the vision loss that's permanent is due to either a new attack or an older attack that has happened and that my like symptoms and like disability has just um, been progressing basically like all my other symptoms I feel recently that most of my symptoms have been progressing to the worse uh, quite a bit and it's not so fun because I feel like there is even though it's not 
for sure that I have new activity, it means that progression is happening. And that's obviously a very scary word when you have mess. Um, but I have my next neuro neurology appointment in September. Uh, and I have a blood test before then. Uh, or is it end of August? No, it's in the beginning of September because I go away to Sweden on the 28th of August and I will be back on the 12th. So after that I have rehab, I have ne neurology appointment and then I have my next infusion. Can't believe that it's been like nearly six months. Um, not yet. Um, it's been four, four months approximately. But I mean two months fly by really fast. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, I wanted to share a few other bits in today's vlog too, um, what I have been doing to try and make myself feel better and uh, yeah, hopefully things that can either bring you some joy or maybe just give you something to think about. So I have a few more bits that I want to share with you in today's vlog. Yeah, I needed to be straight. So we just got out of the pharmacy because I needed to pick up a couple more of the medications I'm taking and I wanted to ask your guys this, like not opinion but if you have an experience because they prescribed me something called triptisol 10 milligrams which is kind of like an, an it's an antidepressant but it's also used to treat neurolog neurologic pain and in this case now I've been taking it for about three weeks and I do not feel a difference with my neurolog neurologic pain. I still feel the same pain as I always do. And I just wonder like for how long I have to take it before I will notice a difference. Have you tried it? Are you noticing a difference? I don't know, because I feel like if it's not making a difference, why should I be taking it? Anyway, and then I'm also picking up more of the beta histina, which is the anti-vertigo medication that I still have to take three times a day. And we are now heading to the shopping center to do some other bits and people are watching and Caesar is helping. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Ooh. he just spit him out of the car. <laughs> Disgusting. But no, I wanted to ask you that quickly before I forget because if I do not ask you that now, I won't remember it later. So thanks. <laughs> I've just had breakfast and I've done my makeup and I'm about to go to work and I'm gonna take my electric scooter there for the first time since my relapse. I've woken up with severe pain in both of my arms. I feel like I can't even hold the camera. Um, a little bit not nervous about going. I know that my mom wanted to drive me and she had been asking me how are you gonna get to work. And I just said that I will try to, to take my scooter and I feel like I will be able to do that. Um, but I just wanted to share because when I wake up in the mornings is usually when I feel the worst. And this morning I woke up feeling like both my arms, like 100 kilograms each and I'm struggling to move them and I feel like my hands are not stable, they are shaking a bit, um, which is quite frustrating. But now it's time to go to work and I hope I feel better as time goes on. Usually I do and by the time I'll get there hopefully my arms have loosened up a little bit. Um, I just had two gluten-free toasts with some um, chorizo. <laughs> because I'm a child and I like that. And I had some paprika on there. I had a coffee with lactose-free milk. Um, I know I should not have dairy, but as you guys know, my coffee is like my thing. And I usually try and have like oat milk or dairy-free milk. So either oat milk or almond milk, but because my dad have been here, we have been buying normal milk, like lactose-free. Um, I still had some, so that's what I'm having today. And I'm gonna pack a couple of eggs, hard-boiled eggs with me, because I need to take my medication when I'm at work. So I take it three times a day. And I need to eat something every time, because if not, I feel so much pain in my stomach. Um, but now it's about 10, it's 10 minutes before I have to go, so I need to quickly get changed and head to work. Mm. So 
so not completely sure about this setup but it's temporary i have to figure this out i've just gotten home you saw my snack of this afternoon it's pre-dinner snack <laughs> because i'm really hungry and i don't have it in me to cook just yet i've had a shower i, I have had a shower i have scrubbed head to toe because i felt so dirty so i felt like now was a good time to talk about a few of the things that I've been doing to try and help myself and to make myself feel better. So as a result of being on Ocrevis and now on this new treatment with the steroids to combat my relapse that I've had, I've had a few side effects such as breakouts on my skin. So every time I get steroids I suffer severely from breakouts afterward. It's like I get like pimples everywhere like it's so frustrating <laughs> i'm 33 and i feel like a teenager so i'm breaking out all over my face like my neck area my chest and my upper back area and um, so i've been really really trying to be mindful of drinking enough water to help my skin clear up faster but because i'm on ocrevis like my skin takes so much longer to heal so if i uh, for example here i get like a like a little damage from after my my breakout and my kid my skin gets so dry it will take forever to heal basically and so i've been trying to stay hydrated and i've been trying to really step up my game when it comes to like skincare and one of the things that i did was i started subscribing to one of these um kind of like monthly boxes uh, one that's called goodie box i'm not sure if they are everywhere but i know that they are in spain obviously um, and um, this is not sponsored or anything but I thought it could be fun to maybe open that one up to you together because I have received it in the mail and I'm quite excited about it um, so that this month was mainly skincare I think and I thought it could be fun to open together and maybe try out a few of the bits um, while I'm talking to you and then I also wanted to share a little purchase that I made so a few things that I used to do on my channel before my like MS journey began was I loved sharing like bits and pieces around my home like when I was decorating for the holidays sometimes I would do occasional cleaning videos and things and one of the things that I find joy in is like sprucing up my home and keeping everything around me lovely and cozy as much as I can and we are heading into like the end of summer now it's still really hot here um, but I know as soon as September October hits I'm gonna be ready for fall so I went shopping the other day when my dad was still here and I picked up a few like fall bits in Primark and I just thought I could might as well just share those with you because I thought, I thought it would be fun I picked up a four set uh, tea towel kind of thing and so I have two fall colored ones and then I have prints on two, one of which with a little fox on there and then pumpkins and leaves. And I just thought they were so cute, I could not pass them up. And they were only five euro fifty cents and I thought that was a steal. I bought coffee beans in St Starbucks and I had them grind them up for me. So I needed something to put that in that looked nice in my kitchen and I picked up this glass jar with a wooden lid with like a lid of with this kind of ring so it keeps it airtight and I thought that would look nice in my kitchen and I found that was also five euros in Primark and I thought it was really cute and then best thing of all so my little like weakness is coffee cups <laughs> I do love my coffee but I also love my coffee cups so I found two autumn cups that I could not not buy so here is one here is Mr. Fox and I think he's adorable and every time I look at him it gives me joy it brings me joy and I know it's just a silly little thing but things like this truly make me happy and the last bit I picked up was this pumpkin mug and I've been looking for something like this for like I don't know the past three or four years and um, but I haven't found any as good as this the only, the only thing I wish it didn't have is that the rim has an overlap and it makes me think that when you drink that it might want to like escape on the sides of your mouth. I picked those ones up so the cups were 4 euro each one and I, I could not pass up. 
I could not choose, I had to get both of them. So yeah, that was my like little treat to myself. I really enjoy getting bits from my home. And I kind of just wanted to make myself feel better. Sometimes a little bit of retail therapy can't hurt, so. Now, to my goodie box. Drum roll pre please. I haven't opened it, so I have saved this to open it with you guys and I'm alone. So now is the moment. I think it's a quite cute box. And they said that you can, it's completely like recyclable. So what you do is you just open your little box like so. And you have a little welcome note and thing in there. A big welcome to happy self-care. How suitable for somebody like me. Wow, it's quite a few bits in here. So let's start with the smallest thing in there. So the smallest thing in there, it's called Lip Cure, and this is from Copenhagen. So this is a Scandinavian brand. I haven't heard of them before, but it says, instant help for soft smooth and healthy lips next thing in here is also skincare which i'm very excited about so this is able skincare from london excited to try that so this is an anti-oxidizing day light moisturizer so and it's quite a good size i have to say 50 milliliters. Apply in the morning after cleansing and applying your serum. Okay, so we shall try that. Should smell it maybe. It's sealed, so I will have to open that. Ooh, it has a really nice and clean smell to it. Ooh, I, I really enjoyed that smell. That reminds me of something my mother used to use when I was a kid. I think. Oh my gosh. It's really distracting. Oh, so this is a night cream from Skin. Skin, I don't know. Repair microbiome night cream, double barrier function, improve micro micro microbiome, prevents dehydration. And it's filled with vitamin E and omega-6 and 9. It has no scent to it. So if you're sensitive to those kinds of things, that's good. But this was a night cream. So now I have a day cream, a night cream, and a lip cream. And then we have, wow, a full-size sample of, it's a body cream or body jelly from Evolu, Evoluderm, Paris, Evoluderm. I don't know how to say that. I do not speak French, um, but it's a French product. So it's gel, mm -hmm. it's a, a kind of like a detox, um, detox, detox body jelly with coconut water and green tea extract for all skin types. So this will moisturize and freshen your skin made in France. It's also sealed. I want to smell. Should I put this one on before I put my clean pajamas on? Oh, it also has this really clean scent. I love this. I'm gonna put this on straight away after I'm speaking to you guys. I'm done speaking to you guys. And then I have, um, guess what? You will be naked in a minute. I should have opened this box before my shower. So this is a coffee scrub. I've been interested in trying these actually. I've seen many people use them yeah, so this should be used in the shower, I would say. Ooh, get in the shower. Wet your skin and grab a handful of scrub. Scrub in circular motions from top to toe and leave for three minutes and then rinse it off. I'll do that next time. And then the last two things, I have sandstone, which is a summer bronzer, summer glow from, I suppose, sandstone. The brand and I did leave uh, when I signed up for the subscription they ask what kind of like your skin tone what color is your hair skin type and that kind of thing 
And then I suppose together with this, I also received a little brush from hmm, Nire Beauty. I don't know how to say. It's a face and body kabuki brush. I don't know if you are familiar with the brand. But yeah, kind of want to see what it looks like. Nice and fluffy little brush. Looks nice to me. So I would say these two would go together. I feel like that's a nice little handful of things in my first box. I'm most excited about the skin products, like the, the um, moisturizer and things. Oh, I just feel like, especially now, like when I'm not doing the best, I feel like anything I can do to either boost my mood or like help myself feel better a little bit like physically or even just mentally that really helps and uh, I feel like we shouldn't we shouldn't but we should not stop caring about ourselves with these types of things just because we have a bigger problem to tackle if that makes sense um, one of the things I'm trying to do as well to keep to, to like help my mental health is to take out as much of like my stress triggers and one of which is my phone um, so I will receive messages all throughout my day and then indeed like people don't stop messaging me from work related that is um, out of office hours obviously so um, because I I'm so accessible people are just accustomed to send me messages of asking me things that could wait the following day but because they have my direct phone number they're like yeah well we'll call her or we we'll text her and I can't not look so what I've done is I've started archiving some of the clients that I do not have to have like full attention of all the time and I just open their conversation when I'm ready to so I won't receive like a, a, a I will get a notification that I have a message but I won't hear that bling 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 um, so I can choose when I go in and I see the messages waiting so that's one thing I've done um, and then uh, my boss has now decided that I'm going to start to use um, a different phone number for work-related things. And I think that's good. Uh, yeah, so a little note for me to you, a little tip of things. Now I'm going to finish my snacks, I'm going to get moisturizing and I'm going to start to edit today's vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs>